Well, hello there, friends. How do I run again? Oh, maybe I'm going down the stairs. Yeah, that's how we run. Not going down stairs or you'll fall down and crack your skull open and your mom will say, Oh, no, James. Your head is covered in goop. And I'm like, that's not goop, mom. That's my brains. And then she's like, Oh, no, this, this just doesn't make sense at all. And I said, No, mom, it's because I was running down the stairs. And she says, Well, sorry. Sorry, I th- I am here saying I told my son, I taught him never to run down the stairs, so that can't possibly be the issue here. Isn't that right, James? I'm saying, Mom, it's not time for lessons. I understand what's happening right now, but please, for the love of God, bring me to a hospital. And she's like, uh-uh. My son wouldn't know this. All you need is a good shower because I don't know where it came from. Maybe it dropped down from the ceiling, but you're covered in goop. And I'm like, no, why? Oh, wait, I just want to, uh, can I friggin', I'm just doing grind today. After the 52 minute episode or whatever it was last week, I, I'm, I'm ready to rack and I'm ready to roll but I'm afraid that there might be stuff that I'm missing. I wish I could have seen Mr. Dart. Am I missing things? I don't. Do I care? I wanted to show this house to my newborn. My new dragonborn. Oh my god. Goopy head. He pushed himself for such a silly reason. Uh, Are they talking about me in this third tense? Okay, who cares? We're we're just saying screw it. We're going out. We can come back if we need to, I bet. Rose? No, it's nothing. Okay, I guess we just uh go. I'll be here when you're prepared for departure. Once we leave town, I will consider you a mature dragoon. Oh, nice. I'm no longer a teen. I'm a Adult. I was trying to say twins, but I couldn't say twins. Uh, I won't teach you how to fight anymore. Uh, okay, I'll. I don't care. Let's keep going. Let's friggin' keep going. I'll get dragoon and I'll figure it out on the job. Okay, that's how. That's how real people friggin' figure things out. They don't wait around for Danny Tamborelli to tell me what I did as a child to make me quirky and unique. Was I a champion? Was I inventing something? Does it have to do with animals? See, there we go. We got the SP bar right there. Yes, Burning Rush. We got 30 points of S right here. That probably means skill. Why not call it DP? Uh, Nah, I'm getting DP'd over here. That's probably why they didn't call it that. All right, Dragoon level is one. That's good. Uh, oh, now we need to start grinding, grinding for Dragoon level. Uh, I'm guessing we'll get good. Ooh, a Marshland monster right here. Whoops. There had better not be story. I just want to challenge people. I don't want to read a single dialogue box on this episode. Okay, can I just scurry around here and and get yellow and then red? There we go. It's taking a little long, so hopefully the monsters here are beefed up. I, you, there's a spray or an item to use. That I'm probably thinking of the bug spray from Pokemon that makes it so you don't get uh, Pokemon hitting you. Uh... Oh, I'm guessing because it's a uh, one of the it's a flying monster and he can't hit flying <gasps> monsters maybe. Don't hurt me. Uh, I wish there was a thing in this game. Yes. Oh man, I'm on point today. That you use to get encounters more frequently if you want to grind. I shine cuz I grind. I grind cause I shine. I think that's uh 
Mike Jones, maybe? Let me know in a comment. That's Mike Jones, right? Could it be... It's not Frasia, boy. It could be uh, Lil Flip, possibly? But I think it's it's Mike Jones. I wonder if, if this uh, se Legend of Dragoon segments over to uh, Houston to just Southern rap music in general from the early 2000s. I think it might. I have faith. I enjoy both of those things. Ashan Kuzagrand. grand. Yes. Burning fudge and rush. God, I wish you could change the... Oh, you can change the camera angle. I'm a little tit boy. That's what Shauna sounds like when she bows an arrow. Not like, oh, whoa, that is a lot of damage right there. Holy crap. Get him. Get... No! But hey, it murdered him either way. Nice. Uh, I think... Uh, does that status effects last? I think the, the hazy one doesn't, but that one probably for sure does. Yes, we got a level up. Call me when I leveled. That's where I go up. The grind is already working, guys. Wait, I need to check poison. Did, did, did I not buy any? James. What are you doing? Why would you not have bought in any antidotes? Now, let's, let's keep moving. Let's keep grooving. If he dies, he dies. Uh, what's a question? Oh, you want to know what? Let me know your favorite rap album. And if anyone has the, the thoughts to be like, rap is crap. I don't like any of it. You like some of it. You'll find a rapper that you'll enjoy. It's not... There's so many subgenres and so many styles of it that it... You're just being an asshole if you're like, no, I don't like any of it. None of it. If you're a fucking nerd, listen to nerdcore. You might like that. If you're into hardcore music, guess what? You're probably going to like uh, just hardcore underground rap music in general. Or, oh, bada bing, bada boom, horrorcore. You might enjoy that. Or if you're into horror movies and you say, I don't like rap music. It's bad. Then you're probably going to like... Uh, Fudge! Always with them circles. Uh, you'll like horrorcore. Rap music. It's multifaceted. It's fantastic. You'll love it. I guarantee it. All right, let's let's uh, let's use Dragoon on this bad bitch. Toss this up in the air. I'm a Dragoon! Yeah! Look at me roar. Can I skip this? Come on. Just let me skip the animation. The animation axe. That's Animaniacs, but for animation. Okay. We got that and a magic. We have flame shot, fires, uh, fire, strength, 50% single. Let's try it out. Maybe it's one of them uh, guys that you jammer up. I don't know, but I'm going to click just to make just to make sure. Volcano! Wow, come on, let me skip this. Nope, oh wow, that did 104 shnikes. That's what daddy likes to see. If uh, Lavitz dies, whoa, we got a spear. Wonder, wonder if that's good. If Lavitz dies, we'll just heal him uh, with one of those cool things. Okay, but yeah, let me know your favorite rap album. And again, if you, if you, oh, nope, that's not it. Uh, armed and dangerous. No, he's already wearing a spear. Wait, uh, how do you, how do you change? I don't know. Um, if you come in and you're like, oh, rap music, all of it's bad. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to be like a comic book clerk 
trying to find someone something new to read. I'm going to be like, what are your interests? What's What are you into? Literaturally, what are you into? Are you into dense things? Are you into comic books? I can find a lot of stuff around comic books that you'd enjoy. Not even just straight up nerdcore, just things that have that feeling. Are you into sci-fi? Ooh, Del the Funky Homo Sapien with uh, Deltron 3030. It's right up your alley, you little bitch ass. Yes! Uh, but just because you're like, oh, the mainstream, that I, I don't want to hear about big screen TVs, 40s, and bitches. Well, the, uh, there's so much in there. Even if, you, if you're really into the 80s, wow, just listen to 80s rap music. You want to know what they weren't talking about in the 80s? Big screen TVs, blunts, 40s, and bitches. Except in the late 80s, it, it got around there. Do you really like dense stuff? Listen to like Aesop Rock, uh, Rock Him. Uh, who else? Who else is is a dense rapper? Uh, Tech Nine, technically, like his rhyme schemes are are great. Uh, it, also, if you're into devil shit, Tech Nine when he gets dark, great. Brother Lynch Hung, if you're into like really disgusting horror movie, check out br b movies. I should say, check out Brother Lynch Hung. If you're into punk rock music, Crunk. It's a Crunk uh, music is the punk rock of ding dang I didn't get it of hip hop because it made it so like truly anyone could make it all you need like instead of having to figure out sampling and all of this uh, just complicated things like an MPC just all of this all you really needed was a, a synthesizer and a program to record in and a microphone. You didn't even need the best quality recording mic. It truly set... And all you needed was to be like hype on the mic. You didn't need to do social conscious stuff. You didn't need... You didn't even need to, to do like technical rhyme schemes at all. It, it truly was, you know, like punk people were like, I barely, when I, when we started the band and we're getting popular, all I, uh, I, I could barely play. That's why I picked up the bass guitar. It was it, in the group. It was just the easiest one. And I didn't, I had the least uh, experience. Crunk music, the same exact way. If you like that. Wow. These are like teens and early twenties people just getting on a microphone and just being angry as fuck. Check it out. Crunk music. That there we go. Those circles are what are kerfluffering me. We're taking this dude down. Yes! I really enjoy rap music. I, I think it's it's the most consistent thing in my life. It's fantastic. Yeah, there's shitty rap music out there. However, maybe not to other people. Maybe it's just shitty to you, and then other people truly do enjoy it. I'm not someone who's like, oh, these mumblecore freaks. No, who cares? There is still rap music for you out there, even if you don't, you're, you don't enjoy... Uh, um, like trap and mumble rap there's there are hundreds of thousands of rappers one of them's gonna stick to you uh check out muck sticky if you're into smoking weed and shit uh a lot just fucking be good <laughs> Be a uh, a contributing member of uh, th this culture. That is rap music. It's so good, guys. All I've been, uh, rap-wise, all I've been listening to is Obi Trice's first album, Cheers. I think is one of the greatest Detroit rap albums. After that, just like, for some weird reason, I wanted to like his later stuff. At this time in Shady Records... A lot of the artists had, uh, like, there was so much focus. I believe this is at least how 
I view it and from kind of messages uh, online that I've seen from these artists, artists like Stat Quo, uh, Obi Trice, Young Z very much so as well because he was on Shady Records. He's not listed when you go to Wikipedia, but one, D12 World, he had a skit where he was rapping um, and described as a bald head weed smoking motherfucker. And then uh, goes into a, a super dope rap. But also on ShadyRecords.com, way back in the day, he was listed as an artist. So Young Z, two thumbs up. So where was I? Go? Oh, uh, during this time, there, were, I believe, was so much emphasis on Eminem on Shady Records that other people were kind of pushed away or it was like oh you need a, f a flawless album especially like after 50 cent kind of just uh, in my eyes he like yeah you want to sell 10 million plus albums who doesn't but your first record to sell that many you're just you're setting yourself up for... Uh, God damn it. You're setting yourself up for disappointment with the second record. There is no way someone can live up to it unless you completely change your style. And you're like, this was a uh, an artistic choice to just change it completely like Gorillaz. Gorillaz did a fantastic job at... Uh, making sure that you couldn't compare any of their records to, e to each other because they are so different in style. 50 Cent did not do that. It, you could, uh, besides like the feeling of each record and one feeling rushed and having way, way, way too many songs, The Massacre, if you took out all of the filler, because for some weird reason, rappers or pr record producers were like, well... Albums are 80 minutes. You can, uh, CDs, you can put 80 minutes on there. Uh, the consumer will be really pissed if we don't fill all 80 minutes. Here's what you do. If you want to fill out all that 80 minute time, do like what a ludicrous did on word of mouth and put in, and what a lot of people did. But if you really want to like, uh, fill that time, just put a secret track at the end and bada bing, you're done. You, you got what you needed. And fans will be pleased, even though that's not what we care about. Fans care about just an album of nothing that you want to skip. And unfortunately, a lot, especially the sex tracks. Why are there so many fuck songs on the massacre? It You could have taken all of those off. And then a few songs that, like, th there are some very good, like, gangster, like, street songs on there. But some are just kind of, like, rehashing what other ones did. Take that out. I What I need to do is I need to sit down for a day and then on Spotify make a playlist of, like, hey, this is what the massacre should have been. Maybe even go into, uh, to like, mixtape stuff and figure out. Oh, damn, I did uh, circle on that one. And just uh, re make what the massacre should have been in that era. People have probably done that before. How many more? Uh, we're, we're getting close on both of them. We're going to wait until they get up to level nine and uh, call it a day for today. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on 50 cents music as a individual? He's, he's uh, an asshole. So you don't need to get into that. You're preaching to the choir. If you come in saying that, but Massacre's Dope, that first G-Unit album, Flawless. Uh, or maybe I wouldn't... No, yeah, I would say Flawless. It, it's great. Oh, man. Uh, the underrated... God ding dang it. Underra most underrated person, I think, is Young Buck. I'll scream it to the heavens. Straight out of Cashville and Buck the World. So good. So great. Uh... And, hey, if you like punk music, Young Buck, ch check out Straight Outta Cashville. His microphone, a, a, a being under the label of the 
at the time most popular rapper and affiliated with Shady Aftermath, who were also just the like most dominating record company, it felt like at the time in rap music. For his microphone, Young Bucks, on this album to be peaking as much as it does just seems like they did not give a shit about Young Buck. And it's sad, but maybe if it didn't have that feel to it, I might not have liked it. If it sounded a little more polished, it doesn't sound terrible. I'm just saying, like, the mic, like, he's screaming too loud. He's rapping far too loud. DMX, uh, whether you enjoy his music or not, he, there are videos of him, also whether or not you like his personality, uh, dude sucks, in my opinion. But, uh, what was I saying? There are, there's a video of DMX who is known for scream rapping, standing maybe five feet away from a microphone, doing his, ad, maybe just his ad libs and overdubs. Because he screams too loud, and you can't be that close to the microphone if you're screaming unless you turn it literally all the way down. My interface, that's what I do when I do a song. It is it is near almost all the way off, because if I don't, it'll peak a little. However, there is a song, uh, was it Moonbase, I think, that I recorded the entire thing and noticed I peaked quite a bit, but I use that to my advantage. I use the natural distortion of that to put it in the song and that like it has that feel to it also did that on uh uh what's his face mc deep's low res tape oh man it's i think one of the best albums i've ever mixed it taught like uh thematically because it, he's like hey i want to i'm doing this uh on all these lo-fi hardcore beats ding dang it uh so I want the, the microphone to be really distorted. So instead of using a, con a condenser, which gives you a clearer sound to, to your raps, what we did is we used a Shure PG-58, which is like the performance grade version of the SM-58. And we use that because like it has, you know, the like uh, a natural sound to it that we could use and better in post effects use distortion to to really play off just the microphone's tone. It's good. Check that out. MC Deep. Just search MC Deep Low Res Tape Bandcamp or just MC Deep Bandcamp and you'll find it. I I uh I guess produced the I mean not produced in the sense that I made the beats for it. But I, uh, what's the word? I engineered it and produced it in the sense of like, hey man, you should do this and this is the direction the album should go. Man, there was one song though that he, he was recording by himself and uh, because we used to live together, so yeah. And when I was like gone or at work, out of the house, he would just go, he he knew how to fire up the program and record one of the songs, his overdubs were so ungodly off. And not just like off, like, hey, I'm a few second, or, or like I'm a half a second off on all of them. It was just uh, flow-wise on all of them were off, and it took me so long I don't think he ever paid me to <laughs> to mix that. Maybe he did. Maybe that one he paid me. I know for sure because we went pro. But I went pro bono on a uh, uh, black suit, which was a thing him and our friend the Fed did. Uh, that I did not get paid for because they. I don't think they promoted it all that much. I'd like to go back though and re. Uh, remix the album because it's very bright in the mix especially with I, I didn't really use DSers back then because I, I didn't have any ones that were good any good plugins so now I would uh make it sound real nice yeah burning rush 
But guys, rap music is fucking dope. Check it out. If you haven't heard of it, I highly recommend. Dang it. I should have just dragooned it and attacked. Oh, wow. Because this does, yeah, it does so much damage. Okay, yeah, I got to start healing. Healing potion. Yay. Now she's standing up. Knew it. Uh, it feels like normally I'm trying to figure out what to talk about, but I love talking rap. If you've enjoyed this so far, let me know, and I will continue. Like maybe I'll just bring uh, like different subgenres and to the table and talk about those each episode. I was very big into horrorcore as a teen. Fudge, she was supposed to attack the other guy. Let's just attack him. So. Dang it! It's so quick on that one. Maybe I need to ch change over to his other... Uh, thing. What what am I trying to think of? Maybe I should turn over to his other edition because this one just is suck dad and I mean, I'm suck dad and at it. It's not his fault. It's all this daddy's fault. Hi. Uh, let's check. Let's see if the other edition's any better. Add Ishin. Uh damage. Yeah, let's let's turn let's turn over to spinning cane. Yeah, I've barely gained any experience for Rod Typhoon. But now I gotta relearn Rod Ty or Spinning Cane. Ooh, I like this noise that I'm making. Click, 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 click. Oh, yeah. I'm running out of steam because I stopped talking about rap. But yeah, Horrorcore, it's a most famously, I guess, uh, ICP does it. But just like horror movies, there are different, like, in my, like, me observing it, in my opinion, there are different subgenres of even horror core you know you have like thriller horrors psychological horrors you also have campy horror which is what i think insane clown posse is because they're kind of like if you were to put don't spore me bro uh like killer clowns from outer space into an into rap music that's kind of the feeling that you'll get while listening to icp if that's your thing go for it, it, it it's great i guess uh i enjoyed a lot of their albums even to this day amazing jekyll brothers ringmaster and the wraith both like the wraith shangri-la and the wraith hell's pit i think the wraith hell's pit has some of the best horror core songs ever on there but then you also have Tech Nine. He did it. Uh, the Grave Diggers, which was like a Wu Tang. Uh, why can't De La Soul offshoot? Because like producers and stuff from both of those groups were in there. It was RZA and Prince Paul, I believe, is his name. I wasn't super into De La Soul. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend Horrorcore if you're into that stuff. You also have. You also should be advised that there, are, uh, just like some horror movies, there are there's disgusting horror core, and uh, if uh, based on just like album covers, you can generally, or just like promo pics they're doing, you can generally get the vibe of like, oh, this is something I will not enjoy. Okay, I thought he was gonna spore me again. Yeah. Bye bye, little spore boy. <sighs> Nerdcore as well. That's good. If you're into nerdy stuff, check that out. MC Frontalot's great. Mega Ran. Beefy. Kabuto the Python. Ooh boy, which he raps under. Uh, why, why is this not Swagberg? Why is Dopey Ziegler now? That's dope. Who else was uh, uh, Schaefer the Dark Lord, MC Lars, all great. All right, let's get into this. Ah, 
No! I think I'm gonna go Dragoon. Yeah, baby, we Dragoon in it. I wonder if Dragoon, uh, that'd be cool if, like, when you go Dragoon, it's, God, it, okay, this sucks that you can't skip this. I don't want to see this. Come on. Keep it going. Uh, what was I saying, though? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, wait, what? What? I thought it was a freaking push it as many times as you can. I haven't played this in a long time, and he's already done? Holy crap. Because you have to push it when it gets to that, but that uh, dot, isn't it? I mean, don't tell me. I'll figure this out in the in the meantime. Oh no, he's oh shoot. That might spell disastrous. Homeboy's dead. No! Oh fuck me. I didn't mean to do that. I clicked one too many times. I was trying to resurrect the dude. Resurrection. Oh. Wow, man. We're we're getting a a 30 minute. Wow, I did not intend for this to be this long. Grinding in this game is diff. All right, there we go. Should I be getting Rose up at all? I don't think so. <laughs> should I be in a different area to grind? That's That seems like I should be doing. Do enemies level up with you like in Final Fantasy VIII? That's something I should know. I don't think they do. God, let me skip this shit. Like, cool, you're... It, it, like, yes, be ex excited of these angled shots you were able to get uh, and be proud of this technology, but just let me fucking skip it after the hundredth time I've seen it. We getting it, though, guys. Yeah! Yeah, I got hiccups up the ass. People must think I'm I'm drunk all the time. I'm not, though. I'm straight edge as hell. I'm also thinking of quit being a vegetarian, at least for a little bit. Because I was at the store, and you can get, like, six Salisbury steaks for, like, three, three bucks. That's one meal but, uh, right up for me. Okay, Shayna's super close. So we gonna get it in, guys. Oh, no, I do have the hiccups. I have to stop talking for a little bit. Oh. To get rid of the hiccups, I've been up since six this morning because Frank puked. And you better believe once I hear him puke, out of a, I could be in the dead ass of slumber if I hear a, yep, 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 yep. I'm waking up. Frank is my cat, not a child or roommate I live with. Just my best friend who likes to puke a lot. Don't you spores me, fudge you. Okay, you're sporing a, oh God, this angle, this viewing angle is so bad. Bloop. They're running away? Oh my god. It's like in Monster Rancher when you're so beefy. I better get experience for that guy running away. I'm go I didn't. What what a slut. Wasn't I super didn't I just have five experience to go to level up? Oh boy, this game. Does not. And then, like, a boss, a medium-grade boss gives you 600 experience? They they did not want you grinding in this game. That is the only feasible conclusion I can come up with. Let me just skip this. There, I have to look in settings to see if I can skip those Freak Lord animations. Yeah. Burning Rush. I was going to be pissed if he ran away. Bloop. Oh, my God. Quit sporsing us, bro.
If only this... If only there was a fast mode. Which, which, if this ever gets a remaster, they should put that in there, just like Final Fantasy VIII has. It would just be like this speed when you need to do the additions. Like when you do uh, boosts with GFs. It, did we... How much more does she have? There we go. Wow. Uh, guys, this is going on way too long. I can't get Lavitz up to nine this episode. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me talk about rap music for 30 minutes. It's been fantastic. I've been James. Check out my podcast under uh, uh, wherever podcasts are found. Actually, can I? Nope. Uh, are, is there an options area? Configure. Vibration. Morph short, yes. Note. Huh? Oh, maybe that's like when, when you're talking to someone. All right. At least uh, the morph is good now. Check out my podcast, such as Mostly Speak in Sentai. That's a Super Sentai podcast, but we uh, we just, we're not nerds about it. We just watch it because it's a great show. We're not like, um, actually, it's all in earnest. Then, uh, What the Hellmouth, that's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer podcast. Uh, this Movie's Gay, that's an LGBTQ cinema podcast. And Hit It and Crit It, that's a Dungeons and Dragons play podcast. Check out my rap music under Marsh Land Monster. Also, all of this stuff can be found on MLMPod.com. Links in the description. And uh, prrr, check out Patreon.com forward slash MLMPod. That's the best way to support me and this uh, uh, network that I have started. But thank you so much. Oh, and on that Patreon, you can get exclusive podcasts that are only found there. I've been James. Thank you so much for watching. Toodaloo now. Bye. <laughs>